Modular programming design practices allow you to separate code into individual components. This can help us make our code more reusable and consistent. All of this while protecting the global namespace. So module interfaces can be implemented in native JavaScript using the import and export keywords. Now I've gone ahead and created an HTML file and one look at the file and we can see here that we have a couple of headers and we have some paragraph um, tags and each one has an ID. We've gone ahead and also separated our HTML from our JavaScript code and we are including the scripts here using our script tag and pointing toward the location of the script. I've gone ahead and created a JavaScript folder that contained these scripts. So if we look at our scripts, our functions.js file has four functions, sum, difference, product, and quotient. And they simply return the values for each of these arithmetic operations. In our script.js file, we are defining two constants, x and y. We are getting the elements x and y from our HTML file um, here in our strong tags. And we are getting each one of our paragraph tags by their ID. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And we're simply setting the text content for each one of those paragraphs to the value returned from each one of these functions. Right, so this is one way that we can include multiple scripts in our HTML file and be able to work with them. So to see this in action, let us refresh and go to our modules file. Everything is working as expected. However, there are some issues associated with this type of approach. So for one, we are polluting the global namespace. All the variables that we created in our script for sum and difference and our other arithmetic functions now exist in the window function, right? Or the window object rather. So if we attempted to use another variable called sum in another file, for instance, it would become difficult to know which value would be used at any point in the scripts, right? So if we decided to use and declare another const called sum equals four plus seven, there is no way to tell whether our window object would use this sum or the sum inside of our functions file, this sum, right? So right now our global namespace is polluted. So the only way that a variable could be private is if we had it within a function scope, meaning within the opening and closing curly braces here in a function declaration, then there would be no conflict. Also, secondly, there is a dependency here so a script would have to be loaded from top to bottom, meaning our function script would have to load before our script.js file in order to know that these variables or functions were available. So saving these scripts in different files gives an illusion of separation, but it is essentially the same as having a single script in the browser page. Now with ES6, native modules were added to the language and they have come up with a solution for these issues. So to reiterate, a module is a bundle of code that acts as an interface and it provides functionality to other modules so that they can use them. So other modules will rely on these functionalities. A module export provides code and import uses the code. So 
we're going to use the, the import and export keywords in order to fix our program. So inside our functions.js file, we're simply going to add the export keyword to each one of these. And inside our scripts file at the top, we are going to import our sum and we need curly braces. So we're going to import sum difference product and quotient. And we're importing these from and we need to wrap this in a string. Functions.js. And we use one forward slash, seeing that it is in the same directory as our script.js. So let us save this. And finally, inside our modules.html file, we are going to add an attribute to our script tags and set the type equal to module. This is to ensure that the code gets loaded as a module and not as a regular script. So we'll do the same thing here. So at this point, we should be able to save this and reload our page. And it should work the same way as it did before. Only this time, there is no conflict in the global namespace as we are importing from our functions.js file into our script.js using modules and our import and export keywords.